Hey guys, this is The Weekend Extra. My name is Whitney, and we have here with us this week Pastor Jeff. Um, and so this week we were talking about how the Bible is um, a sort of mirror for us that reflects to us uh, who we really are and gives us a kind of diagnosis of, you know, who we are and what we maybe need to change. So what I'd like to ask you is when we are given a diagnosis or see a change that we need to make that may be particularly painful, how do we go about equipping ourselves to make that change and get ourselves ready to to dive into that? Yeah, that's a that's a great question, Whitney, and and uh, and I think a very relevant one because I think I think what's what happens, and I actually think what's going to happen throughout the series is we're going to run into that exactly um, because these change. Our sin, our habits, our worldviews, they become familiar to us. It's funny, like sin can almost be comforting, right? And so it, it's like a bad habit. It's, it's uh, like a comfort food or a bad habit that you would go back to. So to pull that out of my life, I'm not just changing a behavior. I'm actually altering like an emotion, and I'm altering something kind of deep within me, like a, a, re- a reminder of something familiar or close so what the Bible talks about is this, is, is it talks about a renewing of the mind. And what I found is this, to, to equip myself to do that, what I have to do a lot of times is I have to, I have to create or allow God to create in me a new logic, right? So let's just use the, let's use the example of like comfort food, like okay. just as a generic thing, right? So <laughs> uh, what happens is this, like say when, when you were a little kid, if you did what your mom told you to do, um, she would give you like a cookie, let's pretend, right? And so what happens is whether you realize it or not, like a cookie is a reward for every good thing that you do. And then as you grow up, what happens is you start to believe that every time I do something good, I deserve to be rewarded for it. And you rob yourself of the value of, of uh, just doing what's right for the dignity and the value of doing what's right. And the logic could become this. Why would I do what's right if I don't get a cookie? Right. Makes sense, yeah. right? So when you when God comes in and he says, I want to change something in your life, you're not just giving up cookies. You actually are kind of rewiring your whole thought process. So God might look at you and say, hey, what I want you to do is I want you to set your mind on things above. So what you value is not your earthly reward. What you value is your heavenly investment. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a whole process. Now all of a sudden, for me to do that, I have to think, well, wait a minute, my reward is something maybe I'll never see. Uh, My reward is something that's intangible for me. Uh, I, I, to get my reward, I have to live by faith because it's something that's going to happen later on in my life. See how that works? And so all, all sin and all like behavioral patterns are like that. So I have to spiritualize that and I have to trust God's word. I have to invite in the Holy spirit. I have to surround myself with other like followers of Christ who would value the same types of things that I would value. And it's a process. I think, I think when we talk about this stuff, like these changes, I think we want to like change and God says, I actually want you to transform. And that's going to be a longer process. It's going to be kind of a more intense process. But when I, when I get to the end of it, I'm a different person. I'm not just a person who has a different behavior. Right. right? And that's what people want. Like when, when we have people in our lives that we're hurting, they're saying, I don't want you just to quit hurting me. I want you to change your behavior. I, I don't want you to, um, I don't want you to tell me you love me. I want you to actually love me. Right. And the same thing with us. Like, uh, I, I would look at myself and I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to trade one bad habit for another bad habit. I want to be fulfilled in a different way. And that's the process that God wants to take us on but we have to engage it and want it and receive the diagnosis and, and embrace the, the whole change that way. It's difficult. Yeah, it is. Well, we're really excited about the challenges this week and looking forward to seeing what the next couple weeks of the series brings. So we will see you next week, guys.